part two I've got all of my super bright glossy uh, lovely printed pages from part one I thought I'd make myself a really small teeny tiny cute but very chunky journal I've got a punch here for cutting out the pages this is actually a happy planner it is just um, a rectangle punch you don't need a punch um, it's just that if there's an easy way I'll find it you um, can just cut as long as you cut everything to exactly the same size of little rectangles cut now for my signatures. To put the signatures together I'm going to take three rectangles for one signature. Two I'm going to fold into the coloured side. The third one is going to fold with the colour on the outside. These two are going to fit inside here. Now I'm using a contact glue a contact glue is fairly quick drying, holds everything in place, but it allows you a little bit of time to move things around. Now, eventually, these two will be stuck together as well. But by leaving them open, it means we can attach the signatures inside our art book. The seam down here will either be stitched or stapled. Once that's in, you can stick those together and it will hide everything. So there's one little mini signature. I've made a few little colourful signatures now and um, still with the centre not glued together. Now, now is the time to just tidy up some edges. So if there's a little bit of an overlap, trim it off and then I'm going to go around all of my edges with some um, distressing just to get rid of any white paper edges. I've got my little signatures kind of glued together now and edged, still with the open bit in the centre. And what I've done, I've cut out um, a piece of um, burlap, hessian, whatever you call it, um, or you could just use ordinary fabric, and I've cut it to just very slightly narrower than the height of the pages. Now I'm going to start in the centre, open the signature, and I'm going to either stitch down here, if you wanted to, you could um, staple, if you've got a long arm staple. When you stitch down there, those two centre pages can glue together. Then we can move that one over, repeat with the next signature. Open down the middle, stitch or staple, glue those pages together, move over, add the next one. And how tightly you pack them on here will be how dense your book is when it's finished. You should have enough so you've got a little bit um, left over each end because then I'm going to show you how to add a front and back cover. You can see now all of my little signatures are attached. I prefer to keep my threads loose here. You can always do it a bit neater than that if you want to. And at the end I've left a little bit of this um, hessian. For the covers, I've just cut a, um, well it's not a square, a rectangle, slightly bigger out of a um, piece of mount board or thick card and I'm going to cut two squares of my leftover prints to do a front and back cover. Glue that on one side of that hessian overlap and then the other piece I'm going to glue on that side and trap it all in neatly. At the front I'm going to do the same but I'm also going to attach in a piece of, this is um, silk sari ribbon and I'm going to nip that in there as well so that my book will have something to wrap around and keep it all together. teeny tiny book full of glossy shiny glorious colour. 
Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.